everybody, my name is Maraid, it rhymes with parade, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out the infamous Silly Sponge. Now the Silly Sponge, to put it simply, completely broke the internet for the beauty community. And I know I am super late trying it out, but you know what? It's never too late to try a new product. Now, the original Silly Sponge came from Molly Cosmetics and retails for $9.90. But because it is so popular and it's always out of stock, so many different companies are making similar things. The ideology behind the Silla Sponge is that makeup sponges suck up a lot of the product, while with the Silla Sponge it's all going to stay on the surface. It's also super hygienic because it is made out of silicone, it's easy to clean and sanitize. Now I am going to be using my regular routine with priming, foundation, concealer, etc. and so on. So first I am going to apply primer and I am going to be using Wonderlush which is Kim Tai and Ofra Cosmetics collaboration and I love this stuff. I could practically bathe in it. For this, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible, and this thing has been used and abused because I love it so much. So I'm going to take the Silla Sponge on, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because I have primer. I'm going to squirt a bit on my hand. I'm going to tap a bit of product off the sill sponge and dot it. I am so worried this is not going to blend out however because I've seen so many videos where that's what they've said and I just, that's just going to be hell if that's, if that's what it's going to be. Okay, so now I'm going to blend it out by tapping. Lord help me with this. So compared to other videos I've seen, they've always said that it sounded like the slapping of skin on skin, and I'm I'm not hearing that. Um, it's not it's not blending out very well, and it's kind of just sticking on the skin, and it's kind of gross, and I don't really like it, and I've only done my chin. It's, it's, it's kind of nasty. I'm I'm really not gonna lie here. <laughs> It's also really hard to hold and blend it out because it's not that big. And with the sil or silly sponge, with beauty blenders, because it's there's the point and the bottom and the rounded out bottom, they're a lot easier to hold compared to this. Which that's another thing I really don't like about it. It's just, it's really not blending in. I ugh. So gross. I really just I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, it like hurts to tap it on my nose. And it's not really getting in the the curve of my nostril. And it's not I don't know, it's just it's looking terrible. I'm I'm really not lying here. It just it looks streaky. It it, it almost looks cakey too. Like ugh. I really hate this. I hate this. I hate this. And it's not like I'm using too much product cuz this is usually about the the amount I put on every day. Honestly, I want to take a brush and blend this in better because it's just, it is looking so terrible. It's just sitting on top of the skin instead of becoming one with the skin, which I don't like that. <laughs> 
I think that's gross. And you know, this is one of my favorite foundations, so I know this foundation does not look this cakey when I usually wear it. And I, God, it's just, I can see what they were going with this, but honestly, the way how it's just sitting on top of the skin, I just, I, I really don't like that and can't get past it as I throw it because I hate it so much. And it also, I don't know, it's just, no matter how much I try and work it into the skin and blend it, it's just, it is not going anywhere. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. So I am going to put on concealer and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to flip it over onto the more flatter side instead of the curved side. Yeah, it's like almost instantly creasing and that that usually never happens with a beauty blender or a brush. Ugh. Honestly, I don't think any amount of translucent powder or just powder in general is going to save this and I'm not even gonna bother I know it's gonna still look like crap so for my final thoughts on the infamous Scylla sponge I hate it <laughs> to put it lightly I hate it and I hate is a very strong word that I don't like to use for products and I freaking hate this so much it like I said it just sits on top of the skin and doesn't really sink in and it doesn't blend very well like there's a lot of streakiness going on and it looks extremely cakey like extremely cakey and you can almost like see my pores which doesn't usually happen with foundation even if I don't use a primer I don't see my pores and this I I see my pores as broad as daylight and it's kind of grossing me out um and it also still, I don't know, it's, it's creasing right away, especially under my eyes because I already have kind of wrinkly eyes because I sleep like shit. And it's, God, it's just, the concealer doesn't even blend in very well with the foundation like it should. And it just, it looks so cakey I can't get over how cakey it looks and it doesn't no matter how hard I try I just can't get it into right here so it's all red around my nose and it's just I don't like it I just I really don't like it and it's I don't think I don't think the amount of time you can spend blending it out and trying to get it to seep in will change my mind I mean honestly so yeah, I don't I don't like it. I don't think it's worth the money, even though it's a cheap price. I mean, nine ninety that's not that bad. But I just I don't like it. I don't like it. It's gross. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed. Even though I did I did not enjoy this product. All the products I used will be listed in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, and give this video a thumbs up you all and I will see you in the next video.